How's it going out there, YouTube land and all other lands? Welcome to an all new video. In this video, we're doing a movie review of a new film that just came out last week and is a horror film brought to us by a great duo that has also made a few other horror films over the last couple years. So we're going to get right into that. Before we do that, make sure you hit that subscribe button so don't miss this video and the other videos I put up. As always, people, if you enjoy my captain here on YouTube, dabble check out my other social media platforms such as X, Threads, Facebook, Instagram, Patreon, TikTok. Pretty much post uh, regularly on these, so definitely check them out. As always, people, let's get right into this. So welcome one and all to an all-new video. So like I was saying before, we're going to be doing a movie review of a new film that just came out uh, about two Fridays ago now. And is a uh, horror flick that is brought to us by some really great horror directors. And that happens to be the film called Abigail. Yeah. Abigail. Yeah. So Abigail just came out two Fridays ago now. Uh, uh, starting tomorrow, of course, will be two weeks. But this is a amazing, awesome electrifying horror film that I was really enthralled by. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really well done, and I just liked the whole concept behind it. Now, there are a few things I was a little upset by in the film that, you know, unfortunate characters went a certain way, but other than that, the film is a really solid, awesome film that was, once again, gory as hell, great dialogue, great comedic timing, and just a really great cast. Now, this happens to be directed none other by two gentlemen that go by the name of Radio Silence. Yeah! Radio Silence. Yeah! So, Radio Silence, who is known for directing other films, uh, such as, of course, Scream 5 and 6, uh, who recently did not return to do Scream 7, uh, but have done a plethora of other things, been writers, all this kind of cool stuff, are just a really amazing directors who I really enjoy. I think they have a really great eye for making horror films, and I think each of their films have proven that they have a really good knack for making really good types of horror films. Now, Radio Science, of course, uh, is, uh, like I said, the duo of Matt and Bill, and both of them are just really great like I said, directors, and, and I just really enjoy them. Now, with, you know, Abigail, they took their same amazing taste that they had in their previous films and just brought it to a whole other level. Now, if you have seen other films that they have done, the blood gore level is usually pretty high, but this film really took it to the extreme level in this film, especially with a few scenes where there's so much blood being gushed out of certain people, people exploding, all this kind of stuff was just on point awesome. And I think that they have such a great eye for horror, knowing what's a good amount of, of comedy, what's a good amount of, you know, gore, what's a good amount of a great action, horror action, you know, s suspense, all that kind of stuff. They really have a great eye for that, and they really proved it, I feel, in Scream 6. Because Scream 6, I think, out of the, the newer films, is by far the best Scream film I've seen since, I would say, Scream 1. And I think that Scream 6 was just one of those great films that just had a great writing process, but at the same time was just beautifully directed by these guys. And once again, they did that with Abigail, giving us such a great, entertaining film that encompassed all the different types of varieties of genre you can think of. Now, if you haven't seen something else that Radio Silence has directed, definitely check out a great film. One of their first films came out in 2019, and it's just a really fantastic film called Ready or Not. Yeah, Ready or Not. Yes, this was their pivotal first film that really put them on the map. And, you know, Sam Weaving was in this, and uh, she was so freaking awesome in it, but the Radio Silence just knew exactly what to do. This film is so freaking awesome from beginning to end. The whole concept of this family being cursed by this person, giving them all this luxury, and you have to keep doing a certain thing every so often, and the whole, like, 
the dialogue to the action to the blood gore scenes were on point again in that film where especially the explosions at the end of ready or not was insanely crazy just like in abigail and you're just like not expecting that much blood and gore and it was like on point just it ex you know just accentuated the horror factor in you know this film and, you know, horror films, you know, throughout the years, they, you know, there's been a lot of gore in certain films like that. Some films have been tamer than others. And this one just, you know, with the blood splatter just went to the, to the full teat. And it's absolutely freaking hilarious just how much blood they decided to use in this film. And... Uh, the explosions were just so amazing in that film. And like I said, once again, they, they even exacerbated that even more in Abigail. If you have not seen Ready or Not for such a great film, such a great horror concept, definitely check it out for Radio Science's directing. They did a phenomenal job with it. And overall, just a really fantastic film as well. And I just think Radio Science, once again, brought it and gave us a really solid awesome film that has such a great concept of this vampire kid you know being basically pretend you know uh kidnapped to feed was just a really great concept that just i think no one else could do it in radio silence did it they did a phenomenal job if you haven't seen anything radio silence is directed definitely go check out abigail in theaters now they did a really great job so this film has a really great cast uh, of actors and stuff like that that are just really awesome and fun. And I think that this was just really well casted. I really enjoyed the whole cast. And I think all of them did a great job uh, from Gino Carlos uh, you know, to, uh, you know, Catherine Newton to several of the others that were in the film. They all worked really well together and all were fantastic in this film. And I just think they all deserve really good credit for how fun they were in this film. Now, to start us off is kind of like the main heroine herself, Miss Melissa Barrera. Oh, yeah, Melissa Barrera. Melissa Barrera, yeah. So, Melissa Barrera, you might recognize, of course, from uh, a slew of films of the years in The Heights, uh, some TV shows she's been on, and so forth, and other films. And she is kind of an up-and-coming, rising actress that really started to make a name for herself, you know. I really feel that Screen 5 was kind of her big ticket into kind of the stardom aspect. And, you know, I think that she really is, you know, coming a really great actress that's going to be really enjoyable to watch in the future. Now, Melissa Barrera in this film, I think, did a great job. I really enjoyed her character. I liked the motherly uh, vibe she gave. I like how she was, like, still kind of, like, sweet and innocent. But at the same time, you can see that she has a really, a really shady past. And she played the character really well. And I thought that she had some really great dialogue throughout the film. And I just think in some of the scenes, she really rocked it and kicked butt. And I think that, you know, she did a great job of really pulling this this cast together and give us a solid lead. Uh, I just really enjoyed her performance and I thought that she did a good job. Now, if you haven't seen Melissa Burr in anything else, you should definitely check her out in another film that I think is my favorite of her so far. Uh, Abigail is coming in very close to this one and she just really, I really love the the growth she made into this film from the character that she played in the previous film and I just enjoyed where she took it. And then of course it's a film called Scream 6. Yeah. Scream 6. Yeah. So in Scream 6, I love what she did with her character. Uh, you know, how she really grew it, how she developed it, how she changed it, made it different than her character in the fifth film. And I just think that it really showed she has some really good acting chops and that she really can develop a character very well and even make it even better a version of that character and i like the growth that she had with the character from the previous film and i just really thought she was really fantastic in it i liked her interactions with everyone in that film and i think that she did a really good job of leading that film along with jenna ortega but at the same time bringing a great kind of like matronly vibe to it very much like nev campbell did in the first four films and I think that she did a great job of really encomp encompassing or en encapsulating the, uh, 
the presence of who, you know, Neb Campbell's character was, Sidney Prescott, in the previous films. And I enjoyed that, and I liked how she grew throughout this film. If you haven't seen Melissa Bernathan, definitely check out her performance in Scream 6. She did a really phenomenal job. But other than that, like I said, I thought she was really great, Abigail. I liked her. I thought she was really fantastic. And I think that she did a great job. And I'm looking forward to seeing more from her in the future. If you haven't seen Melissa Burr or anything recently, go check her out in Abigail now. She was really fantastic. So that brings me to the other actor I like to talk about that was in this film. That was one of my favorites. And that, of course, is a great actor who is just, I think, an up and rising actor that is going to get more and more roles and just is fantastic. And that, of course, is Mr. Dan Stevens. Oh, yeah, Dan Stevens. Woo, Dan Stevens. Yeah. So Dan Stevens you might recognize from the FX TV series Legion. Uh, he is a British actor. He played the Beast, of course, in the Beauty and the Beast live action that came out a few years back and has been in a slew of films over the years and is just a really fun actor that... I absolutely love what he brings to his characters. I love his extent. I love the different transformations he makes with his voice and his appearance. And I just think he's a really well versatile actor that uh, is a really great character actor like Stanley Tucci or Oliver Platt. He is just one of those great actors that I think, you know, 20, 30 years from now, we were like, this guy is a talent. We should recognize him more. That's just how good Dan Stevens is. And I really, uh, anything I've ever seen him, I've always enjoyed him in. And I absolutely loved him in Abigail. He was so fantastic, kind of being, trying to act like he was this, like, New York cop, New Jersey almost like. And it was so hilarious seeing him, like, try to do that accent and stuff like that on top of, you know, doing an English accent versus doing his his actual English native tongue uh, that we've seen in other films. And uh, it's just funny, like, it was, like, so fantastic and on point and so much fun. And totally made me think of Carrie Elwes. I'm sorry, but it sounded like Carrie Elwes to me from Princess Bride or pretty much any movie uh, Carrie Elwes is in. It, ha it almost sounded just like that. If you had closed your eyes while listening to him, it sounded like Carrie Elwes, I felt. And I thought that was just so funny because Carrie Elwes is such a great actor, too. And so Dan Stevens kind of almost sounding like him. I'm like, holy crap, he could play him in a biography if they ever make one of him. I'm like, wow, that world would really work. But anyways, uh, Dan Stevens, I absolutely loved his character, like I said, in this film. He did a great job. And I liked his evolution through the film. I don't like how it ends. But overall, I just really enjoyed his character and how fun and how awesome he was and how determined he was throughout the whole film and how he was just really badass and really cool. Now, if you haven't seen Dan Stevens anything, you should definitely check him out in a great film uh, that just came out this year as well, uh, a couple weeks prior to this one coming out. And I absolutely loved him in this film. I think it, it was fantastic, his portrayal in it. He was just so freaking funny and just so awesome. And then, of course, this film called Godzilla x Kong, The New Empire. Yeah, The New Empire. Yeah, he was absolutely awesome as his character in Godzilla uh, X Kong, The New Empire. He was absolutely hilarious. Him and Brian Tyree Henry were so amazing together and so freaking funny. And they absolutely made me crack up every time they were on screen together. And just anytime Dan Stevens came on, he was super funny and just really enjoyable as well. And you, you liked him a lot. You loved his character. You wanted to see more of him. And he just was a really great addition to the human cast for that film. And he was just awesome and i absolutely love me he basically plays a veterinarian in the film and it was just like super hilarious like just his vibe and everything of his character and i think dan did a great job of bringing that to life and giving us a really solid interpretation if you haven't seen dan stevens anything recently go check him out in godzilla x Kong: new empire he was really phenomenal in that and definitely he was so awesome and phenomenal and abigail absolutely loved him he was like my all-time favorite character in it besides uh, the, uh, the character actor that played the blob in X-Men Origins Wolverine, he plays in this film, a dumb dummy type of character again, and he's so freaking funny. Uh, unfortunately, I don't remember his name off the top of my head, but he was such a great addition to this film, too. 
and I just think he, him, and how Dan Stevens really worked off of each other, which is really fun and enjoyable. And uh, I just really enjoyed it. I thought they did a great job together. But Dan Stevens was so awesome, this film. Just so enjoyable. And w worked it and made a great film. If you haven't seen Dan Stevens recently, go check him out in Abigail Now in theaters. He was excellent. He was awesome. And just a really class act in this film. Excellent and phenomenal. Check it out now. Worth the watch to see Dan Stevens. Yep. So what is Abigail about? The premise of Abigail is this young girl is kidnapped by these people. And she's being held for ransom from her really wealthy father. And after the captors get there and get her get her in hold and have her uh, take and everything, they end up finding that that's not actually why they're really there for this for for a supposed ransom, but literally she, they end up finding out that they are literally on the dinner plate and have to figure a way to survive and get out of this giant trap that they're in. And basically it's about them surviving and trying to stop this young girl from attacking and eating them. Uh, great film, really enjoyable. Super thought it was great. Absolutely loved it. Like I said, the, the choreography in it, the gore, the writing, the acting was all very superb and fun and just a really well-crafted film by Radio Silence. If you haven't seen it yet, highly recommend you go check it out now. And theaters, worth a watch. Amazing. Giant 10 Goldie movie boxes up. Can't wait to add this to the collection. Really fun film. Go see it now. So that's it for this movie review, guys. Always thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Also, thank you for subscribing. If this is your first time here, or you have been before, don't forget to check out any older new videos you might not see mine yet. As always, people, if you want to show support for this channel, definitely check out my awesome Patreon page where you can get all kinds of extra cutrimal once you become a member of Outtakes, Bloopers, uh, suggestions of what I do next, or a monthly stipend where you get to pick a movie I have to review for you, and all that kind of stuff. So definitely check that out. As always, people, just a huge shout-out to my new and old followers. You guys are rocking it. As always, catch you the next one.